I am Jim Richards. Hope you're having a great day. If you're not, I want to help you have a great day. You know, God loved you so much. Not only did he give you all of these incredible promises, but then he provided the power for you to be able to take hold of these promises and see them fulfilled in our lives. You know, the Holy Spirit is called the helper. And that terminology probably describes him more than anything else. The Holy Spirit is not the doer. He is not the one that comes and makes decisions for you. He doesn't make you do anything. He doesn't force you to do anything. But anything that's based on the Word of God, that's based on the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus, that you decide to do, He will help you. Now, the question might be, how's He going to help? Again, power. That's why I have this incredible series called The Spirit and the Power. Without the Holy Spirit, none of us have the power to do any of the things that God told us to do or wants us to do. We don't have the power to become who he wants us to be. But because of the Holy Spirit in us, we have that power and it surges through us and makes us able to do and to be and to have everything that God says we can. To me, that is so phenomenal. So this means that I can never stand before God and say, I wasn't able to do this. Or I can never stand before God and just say, you know what? I wasn't strong enough to do this. I didn't have what it takes to do this because God has given us the spirit to live in us, to give us the power to do everything that he says we can do. So you know what? If you want to discover more about this and, a, and it's positive, this is not negative. This is not, this is not just stripping away your excuses. This is giving you hope about the life in God that you've probably always wanted, but never really been able to connect with. If you'll click the subscribe button below, I'll pop you an email this Thursday with a link to a short message. And I'm telling you, this is gonna open up your world to a whole new dimension of enjoying life in God. So be sure to click the subscribe button below. I'll talk to you this Thursday.